Welcome to Case Point Nurses. Imagine your adolescent patient, two weeks post mono diagnosis, is itching to hit the football field. But hold up, when's it safe? Let's break it down with ADPI to nail this nursing question and boost your clinical reasoning. Stick around for a key nursing tip. Here's the scenario. A teen returns one week after a mononucleosis diagnosis, two weeks since symptoms started. Physical exam, no splenomegaly. They ask, can I play football yet? Let's apply ADPI to get this right. Assessment. First, assess for splenomegaly, a hallmark of mono, since over half of patients have it in the first two weeks. Check for symptoms like fatigue, sore throat, or fever. This patient has no spleen enlargement today, but don't let that fool you. Splenic rupture is a serious risk with mono, especially in contact sports like football. Diagnosis? Our nursing diagnosis? Risk for injury related to potential splenic rupture. Even without palpable splenomegaly, the spleen can still be vulnerable early in recovery. Planning. Plan conservative activity restrictions to protect the patient. Here's the novel term, splenic rupture risk. This is the danger of spleen injury from trauma, which can be life-threatening in mono patients. Experts recommend waiting at least four weeks from symptom onset before resuming strenuous contact sports. Why? The spleen needs time to heal, even if it feels normal on exam. Patient teaching is key. Explain the risk clearly and emphasize rest to prevent complications. Implementation. Educate the patient and family. Say you need to avoid contact sports for at least four weeks from when symptoms started to keep your spleen safe. Reinforce avoiding activities that could cause abdominal trauma. Provide written instructions and schedule a follow-up to reassess. Evaluation. Monitor recovery at follow-ups. Confirm symptoms are improving and no splenomegaly persists. After four weeks, if cleared by the provider, the patient can gradually return to sports, starting with non-contact activities. Let's tackle the nursing question. Which is the best response by the nurse practitioner? A. Resume now? No splenic enlargement? Nope. Too risky. B. Wait four weeks post-symptom onset? Sounds promising. C. Wait until all symptoms resolve? Not specific enough. D. Wait for a negative monospot test? That's not the guideline. Correct answer. B. You should wait a minimum of four weeks after symptom onset to resume contact sports. Rationale. Splenic rupture is a known mono complication. Even without splenomegaly, experts recommend four weeks minimum before contact sports to reduce risk. Symptoms resolving or a negative monospot test doesn't change this timeline. Clinical application. In practice, nurses educate patients on activity restrictions and monitor for complications like abdominal pain, which could signal splenic issues. Always prioritize patient safety. Nursing tip. When teaching mono patients, use simple terms like, your spleen needs a break to heal, so no rough sports for at least a month. It sticks and it keeps them safe. Love these nursing tips? Subscribe, hit the bell for daily drops, like, and share with your study group.